Hi, I'm PGA Golf Professional Jimmy Hanlon. And I'm Elise Lobb. Today we have an exclusive tip for all you Golf Logics members that will help improve your golf game. And you need a tip to get out of this, at least, right? That's right. Tough lie right there. The buried lie in the bunker. It's a very difficult shot in the first place, but if you do a few things fundamentally correct, it's going to make your life a lot easier for sure, okay? Go ahead, at least set up to this and let's talk about a few things that we can get them to do. Okay. First and foremost, as we're in the bunker, what we want to do ball position wise is we want to keep the ball position somewhere around center of your stance where you see Elise right here. Maybe even move it up just a tad forward. I see a lot of you when you get this buried lie and you put it way back in your stance and that's not going to allow to get the ball up in the air at all. So let's go center of the stance or maybe a little bit forward. Next thing you want to do is club face. Club face is very, very important when you're talking about hitting a buried bunker shot. A lot as we like to do when we're hitting regular bunker shots, we open the club face up a little bit so we can slide it underneath the ball. Now we need to turn this club face into a little more of a digger. We have to get deeper into this sand because the theory on this, we still have to take sand and the golf ball right. out. And the only way to do that, at least, is to get a little deeper than we would on a regular bunker shot, yeah. right? So some people will even square it up a lot from this standpoint and really be able to dig into this sand. Is but that you, too much? Yeah, I mean, it depends on how much that you need the ball to run. Mm -hmm. We don't have a lot of room right here. So we don't want it to run out. So we're just going to square it up a little bit. But we definitely want to have this leading edge of this, this uh, wedge to be able to dig into the ground. Lastly is you have to really determine, Elise, how deep this ball is and how steep we need to dig. We don't have to go way down into the center of the earth to be able to get this ball. Right. This is buried, but it's not horrible. So not too bad. I think, yeah, so you want to just, you know, we're going to get steep in our angle of attack here, but we don't have to pick it up and chop it. You, mm -hmm. you see so many people pick it up and chop it out of For there. Sure. So again, I think we have to get a little steeper than our normal bunker shot here. So as you go ahead and take it back, allow yourself to pick it up a little more and get a little steeper. Make sure that we dig. We're going to hit right around this little this little buried egg right here. We want to hit the back of that egg because what we want to do is we're going to take all of this out right get now. Get that yolk out. All this yolk's out right here, this right. buried egg. So we want to take all that out. So, you know, hit the back of that egg, get kind of steep in your attack, and let that thing dig, okay? All right. Let's give it a shot. Very good. Just like that. Dug it out Very of there, simple. rolls right to the hole. Again, just setting up properly is such a big key to hit this shot, and it makes it so much, so, so much easier. And that's your tip for you exclusive Golf Logics members.